update for Alibaba. I know it's up 27% today, 9792. And we have talked about this one. If you are, uh, if you have watched last video or I was talking about this flush down with a big volume, uh, I want to show you the volume we are trading with. Uh, look at this volume. So basically, last, so Thursday, Friday, stock sold off, but it wasn't selling off with like too big of a volume. And then Monday, look at this big volume, almost 86 million. And today, well, that's what I was talking about when I said I'm looking for about 20 point move uh, to the upside. Um, this is it, 20 points, 21 points, uh, but I wasn't expecting it to do in one day. But look at it, so big gap, gap up in the morning, so if I switch to a 15 minute chart, you will see uh, slight pullback in the morning, people who wanted to get out, they got out, and it continues to go higher with a bigger volume, and a day is not over yet, uh, it's only half a day through, but stock is up big. So what's the resistance from here? That's what I want to talk about. So for me, basically, uh, still, uh, we have uh, resistance here at 103, 100, and 110 is the bigger resistance. So I do think that it can uh, chop around these levels once it gets here, okay? And I'm not going to be uh, delusional to uh, think that the stock will straight go back to 140 or 160. No, I don't think so. So it's going to be in this range. So if it recaptures $100, perfect. But today, there are a lot of Chinese stocks because of, uh, I think, the headlines. Even their market, I think, was up about, what, 15%. So 16%. MCHI. And then I also follow... Look at the MCHI, pretty much same thing. And also follow HSI, pretty much Hong Kong big large, large, large cap stock index, uh, which is up 9% as well. And if you look at the other Chinese names, well, some of them even up YY, 54%, Pinduoduo, 46%, uh, JD, 31%. So it's not only Alibaba. So they were pretty much, uh, we knew that it was overextended and um, sort of a squeeze slash um, relief bounce. So um, I didn't chase it in the morning uh, because I wasn't expecting 20% to buy into 20% gap up. So I was thinking maybe if it would open at these low 80s, I could have traded it, but um, staying on the sidelines. But if you caught this trade, very nice trade. Um, and yeah, that's the update basically. And um, I'm gonna be updating it soon if we uh, uh, come back to these ranges and also uh, once Fed is out of the way and once, once this uh, March 18th big option expiration date is out of the way. So thanks for watching, see you in the next one.